Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today's video, I am working again with Bimeda. Um, you would have seen previously, I've done a video with them for the Cosicure boluses and for Gold Fleece Sheep Dip. So today we are doing a video, um, actually we're doing two videos, uh, but it's going to be about Dectro Spot and we're going to be using the Cosicure boluses again. So today we are doing a bit of Dectro Spot. We kind of have about two days work to do. And we're going to start with a bit of Dectro Spot this evening. So I'm just going to take you along. So I hope you find this video educational and also the sun is shining at the minute anyway. So we'll make use of that and we'll get a bit of scenery hopefully. Let's hit the road. I had a three hour exam this morning in genetics and biotechnology. Uh, it went reasonably well in fairness. It's just kind of exam season now, so it's pretty busy. Hence why I'm a bit slow with the videos at the minute. Lamin has slowed up, thankfully, but just got to get these exams over with. Anyone who doesn't know, I am in second year of Ag Science in UCD in Dublin, but kind of in Sligo because uh, it's all online at the minute with the virus. Uh, but probably I'd say it'll be back in September, I'd say. It has been uh, online fully since last the first lockdown, basically, March last year. Uh, except for a few practicals, I had to travel to Dublin, but otherwise it's been completely online. It has been handy in ways, like, because I'm able to do so much at home. But at the same time, you kind of miss it. I definitely am not as committed to study when I'm at home because there's just so many distractions. Whereas up in Dublin, you had the library. A lot easier to just focus, you know. Um, but at the same time, it's so much cheaper to live here at home than it is in Dublin. So, you know, there's two sides of the argument. I do miss a bit of fun though, you know, the college experience. Before we get started with the uh, Dectro Spotting and Gathering, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, Dectro Spot to help give you a better understanding. So I would have mentioned before, the reason I make these videos, I am not getting paid to make the videos, but um, we are getting free product in return for talking about the product. What Bimeda really want to do is to get the correct information out there to help keep people safe and help them get the best results out of their products. So Dectospot is a pour on solution for cattle and sheep. So the active substance is Deltramethrin. It is for the treatment of ticks, lice, keds and established blowfly. So that is maggots. And when you're treating lambs like we are, it's for the prevention and treatment of ticks and lice. A few safety precautions, don't use it on convalescent animals. So that's animals that are recovering from sickness and don't use it on sick animals either. A big, big no is not to use it on the non-target species. This is intended for sheep and cattle, so don't use it on dogs or cats. There is a specific treatment for dogs and cats to treat lice, etc. It can cause neurological issues, digestive issues, and it can be fatal. So use it only on target species. It shouldn't be used uh, on lambs with extensive lesions on the skin and it's not necessary to use any other insecticide or caricide alongside it. It's for external use and you should always avoid the animal's eyes. You should make an effort to prevent the animals from grooming after using it. So don't use it during very hot weather and ensure they have access to water. You should only administer the product to undamaged skin, so unbroken skin. 
if you apply it to broken skin, it could lead to toxicity. So PPE required, use latex gloves, which you will see me use later on, and waterproof leggings. Also recommended to use this PPE if you're handling treated sheep as well. If you are exposed either through your eyes or through your skin to the product, Wash it immediately with clean water and then seek medical advice. Don't smoke, drink or eat when using the product. And if you feel unwell after using it, seek medical advice and bring the label with you so they're able to see the contents and be able to treat you accordingly. So there are some environmental precautions to take when using the product. There is a risk to aquatic systems, so you should avoid using it too often, only use when necessary. It's also helpful to try and keep treated sheep away from water courses for at least an hour after treatment. So Dectospot is a pour on, but is only necessary to put a small spot between the shoulder blades. The product needs to be applied without dilution between the shoulder blades along the midline of the animal's back. For sheep, you need to part the wool to make sure that the product gets right down to the skin. Keep treated and untreated sheep separated to avoid reinfestation. The dosage for sheep is five mil. The withdrawal period for sheep meat and offal is 35 days and the withdrawal period for milk is 24 hours. The product should be disposed of um, according to local requirements. So that's it now guys, time to gather the sheep and get working. Out the bike. You shall not pass. Time. Dad is getting angry or hangry. Mom, you get them done, car wasn't something. Sounds good, but warm up maybe. Do not get comfortable. So we have the hoggets dosed, a few feet are checked and paired and treated. Uh, so they're now finished. We're going to start on the yews and lambs. So these yews all lambed here on the bray. Single lambs. Some of the twins were taken down, and a few like two-year-olds, first-time lambers, or any sheep that were a bit skinny, they came down, and they're still uh, on the lowland. But these ones all lambed on the bray, unassisted. I think he he lambed one sheep up there. I don't know how he caught her up there, but Carl somehow managed. You think you do extreme landing? Try catching a yo on the side of a steep hill without rolling to the bottom. Oh man, that was a close one. These are Carl's sheep here.
Dat is leuk! Dat is leuk! Klein! Dat is leuk! So we have 30 yo's dosed, 30 lambs done with paint and spot on. We're, Carl's headed up the brae to get another few. So we're just going to work them in reasonably small bunches to try and keep the lamb, the yo's with their own lambs. And then we're able to see, uh, make sure that there's no dry sheep, any of the dry sheep will be staying on the mountain. Paint on the floor of the sheep can. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 the best way of holding in the gates with the, the bears on the ground. What we're doing is we're letting dry yos back onto the mountain and then we're putting yos that have lambed uh, down. Uh, on a kind of a low bog. Actually, it's also yos that um, have not lamb that are going back to the mountain. So they're all gonna finish lambing up there. And then all the early ones that have lambed up to this point are gone down onto the bog. So then it was time to gather the final bunch. I dropped Carl and Rebecca onto the top of the mountain and I just give it a quick look at the view from the road. It's very nice here. Hi girls, there are two yoles that have not lambed yet.
Okay. Look, look. 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 So that's us finished. We got a good few uh, lambs decto spotted and all the yos dosed, so that was great. Hi everyone, so that is it for today's video. So sorry for the delay for the upload. I just had to get the editing finished. We've had a very, very busy month of May. Um, as you will have known, that video was filmed back in April. As you would have known, we've had a lot of rain since then. It's been really difficult to get sheep in dry and shorn. And also it's very maggoty uh, weather because it's so humid, warm, and the bit of rain and moisture. It's just the perfect ingredients for maggot season. So there's been a lot of panic with farmers to get their sheep shorn, and it's been extremely busy. So apologies for the late upload. I will just try to upload as often as I can over the summer months. As you know, I'm a sheep shearer, so I'm just very busy this time of year. But I hope to definitely get some shearing vlogs, especially when we're doing our own sheep. Thank you for your patience. I hope you enjoy the video and I'll be giving you another video soon enough where we use the Cosicure boluses, also from Bimeda, um, on some of our mountain sheep. We were very impressed with the boluses there back in the winter, so we're going to be doing a few more yos. I hope you enjoy the video and I'll see you next time. Bye. No, wait, I should say the slogan. <clears throat> if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed the video, don't be shit. Uh, no, Patricia. No. Stop laughing at me. <laughs> focus. Focus on me. <laughs> focus. Oh my god, my camera. If you're new to the channel, don't be sheepish. Hit the subscribe button and join the vlog. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>